Hey everyone, welcome to our AI Builder series where we interview innovators building AI powered applications on Snowflake. And today I am joined by Dan Maloney, CEO at Landing AI. Dan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Julian. So thanks for coming today. Something that I always like to start is hearing sort of the journey of how you got there. And one of those journeys that I want to hear is your journey, being someone that spent a lot of time in the enterprise and AI space, sort of what led you uh, to Landing AI? Yeah, yeah, great question. So the first, you know, I'd say over my 20 plus years of time in the enterprise, the first decade plus was really around, you know, enterprises and big enterprise applications, business applications, building those applications, selling those applications, and really, uh, I'll say the whole gamut. But about 10 years or so ago, I started seeing the rise of AI and the impact it could have in the enterprises. So I, I kind of left the what I'll call the, the the big tech world and started moving into startups and startups tackling. Uh, how to bring AI around structured data. And so really started seeing the impact it could have and had you know, a couple great uh, rides at, at smaller companies. And it was, it was really impressive what AI could do in the world of structured data. But something really was nagging me in the background was you know, a lot of companies have structured data, but the majority of their data more and more was becoming unstructured data. In fact, about 80% of the world's data is unstructured now or more, and images and videos are about 80% of that unstructured. So I was like, there is a huge opportunity in this arena. So after I ended up selling off my last company about two years ago, uh, I started looking into much deeper into how can we kind of bring the, I'll say almost like the awesomeness that we did on the structured data side to unstructured. And a friend of mine, Andrew Ring, already had a company, Landing AI, uh, that was tackling this already in the marketplace. And we actually ended up talking, actually for about six months, collaborating on different AI, uh, AI topics around unstructured data, and how could we really open it up and, and kind of change the industry. And so about 18, 20 months ago, ended up joining up with Andrew and the team, and really the rest is history here with Landing AI. Yeah, no, so I think Landing AI has been the forefront of unstructured data with AI. Are there any other trends that are sort of driving the vision of lending AI and the problems that you guys are trying to solve in the world of unstructured data? Yeah. Well, what's really been impressive is there's been a, a massive seismic shift, I'll say, in AI collectively, right? Even when I joined up about, you know, like I said, about 20 months ago, it, really what was ha happening with generative AI and what you were seeing with text prompting and large language models, that was just really, in a sense, in its infancy as far as the market finding out about it. But really, and I'll say in the past you know, 12 to 18 months, there's been a massive, massive seismic shift. So the way things were you know, being tackled around text and the text revolution, really that same construct is just starting in, in, in vision rev revolution. And in fact, Andrew and I often talk about the, the uh, Google Brain uh, team back in 2017 wrote a very impressive paper around transformers. And about three years later, same team ended up writing a paper around vision transformers. So we kind of feel like you know, 2023 was kind of the launch of you know, LLMs and the text revolution. And very quickly following that, in fact, we're trying to push it as fast as we can. But you know, two to three years behind that is going to be the, the, the real vision revolution. And then ultimately, the multimodal dynamic of bringing this all together to solve problems. So that's really the big dynamic. And unlike you know, what you're seeing out with the text world, where there's you know, trillions of lines of text that you know, some great companies can go out there and grab that text and build kind of the models that they need, Yes, there's a ton of images out there on the internet today as well, but those are, you know, on Instagrams or Facebooks, and you know, it's pictures of your friends and and pictures of pizzas and bridges and, and common objects, and you won't classically see those proprietary images that enterprises have for, you know, deep sea pipeline inspection or you know, electric grids uh, taking a look at you know, with drones taking a look at poles and wires and transformers or whatever their their business are in. So that's really where we saw the really big opportunity to kind of, you know, in a sense, change the world. Yeah, and so I think it's really cool how can you mention sort of the text wave and sort of the visual wave coming next and make it more tangible with those use cases. I think something that part of the text wave is we've started to figure a lot of the things that need to be solved. Yeah. I'm imagining you guys are starting to figure out a lot of the infrastructure things that need to be solved for, for visual models. How does that impact how you guys are building the product? I'm imagining something very uh, advanced and sophisticated. We'd love to see how, how you guys have architected this product. Uh, to be available for users to make uh, large vision models uh, democratized across the enterprise. I love it. I love it. Would it be helpful maybe if I showed you what we're doing actually with Snowflake and the native app we're building? Yeah, let's take a look at that. I love it. I love it. So what I've got here, 
Um, we've actually been working with Snowflake. What's really exciting, before I even jump into too, too much detail here, we've really been working with Snowflake to try to bring some of that visual uh, AI dynamics that we talked about in the visual revolution into Snowflake. So a lot of people know Snowflake as a data cloud and doing a lot with structured data, but actually they do a lot more with unstructured uh, data than people know, and more and more is coming around the corner. So what we've actually done here, we've actually taken the landing lens solution, that is our landing AIS platform, we've actually taken that product and we've actually wrapped it, fully containerized that solution using Snowpark Container Services and actually put that inside in a sense, the Snowflake tech stack, and we've wrapped it up as a native app, and of course, customers can actually go out to the Snowflake marketplace, click one button, download it, and have it running in their environment. So if you take a look here on the left-hand side, this is actually a customer, right? The consumer's domain. So they'll actually go into their web browser, be able to launch Land and Lens, authenticated through Snowflake, and really run through kind of what is kind of a, a classic MLOps flow around computer vision. So Accessing the images, whether that's via our edge component, whether that's automating it via some type of API or literally just uh, uploading the images in the browser, depending on their use case. And then when you take those and actually have that in the Landing Lens native app, what we've actually done, it's actually really impressive what Snowflake's put together. We've actually taken our entire application, the data, the compute, um, the authentication. We've actually brought over 23 microservices to be exact actually into Snowflake, and now instead of using our own compute in the past and having the data have to be uh, replicated outside of the environment, this now all exists inside Snowflake. So we use the compute, both the CPUs and the GPUs. The customer's data never has to leave that environment. Um, and, and really what I think is super powerful here is all that work that the Snowflake customers have set up around security, compliance, data governance, we adhere to that. Um, all the vision tasks and all the pieces that we've set up where they would normally classically have had to you know, learn a new application, uh, set it up, go to another tech, that's now all in, inside you know, Snowflake. And then the third piece, which I think is really important here, customers, again, they don't have to take the data and compute outside the Snowflake world. They're already using, um, used to utilizing Snowflake. They're used to getting um, their compute from Snowflake, accessing their data in Snowflake, and we now just are like another component or app in that equation. So to me, that's really powerful. But from a, a personal point of view, landing AI, the thing we're really excited about on top of all that is we build this one time for uh, Snowflake on top, like with a native app, and that will now run on top of AWS. That will run on top of Azure. That will run on top of GCP. So whatever your customer, whatever their CSP that they're leveraging, we build it once and it'll run anywhere. And that's a really powerful proposition. Yeah, and I'm really excited about all the simplicity that we've brought so that you can build sophisticated applications inside the data cloud. I'm now excited to see how you're simplifying advanced uh, visual models for your end customers. So if we could jump into a demo and see kind of how all of this works, um, I think that will be really cool. I'd love to. So let me go ahead and, and show you that here. Now that you've kind of got an understanding about our native app um, and how that's uh, you know fully inside Snowflake here, now what I'm showing you is here's actually how an admin will actually set up this installation. So they go into Snowflake, click on the app, hit install, and it's one button. Go ahead and get it, right? Name your landing lens application, set up that warehouse, and you hit get. And really, you're off and running. So all of that complexity that we used to, uh, had to build into the application, et cetera, the end user no longer has to worry about that. And so once the admin sets it up, you get an email 10 minutes later, all users that are Snowflake users can also use our app. And so what we're looking at here is this is kind of the landing page or home page inside of our landing lens platform. And you'll see common computer vision tasks or projects like object detection, uh, segmentation, uh, classification, as well as a new technology that we've invented called visual prompting, which relates similar back to like text prompting that I was talking to you about. And I'll show you that a little bit at the end here. So once a customer kind of comes in here, they can determine which project they want to go after. Here I'm going to just take an example of a manufacturer doing an object detection. So I've already set this up. And so inside here we've already got a demo environment. And so really what I've done here is I've taken images that already exist, and some of them are pre-labeled, some of them are uh, unlabeled, uploaded them into the environment, and very quickly here with these metal wafers here, you basically I ended up finding a couple holes here. I can basically do very quick labeling and annotation, and boom, I've already got now images, like I said, that have been pre-labeled and some that I labeled in advance right, or labeled right here in the product. 
now I can hit train. And so very quickly going from labeling to training. And what you're seeing on the right hand side is we take a snapshot of that data, spin up the GPUs that are needed. We start doing the training and learning so you can see it getting better as it goes through each kind of epoch there. And then boom, you've got a model that fast. So here you can kind of see the performance, how well it performed here from a precision and recall point of view. And then as well, we'll give you some tips. For example, we saw some images that weren't labeled correctly or mislabels. So here we give you some recommendations about, hey, this is a hole here. Would you like to accept it, reject it, and so on? Once you have that model now trained, you can go ahead and deploy that model. So we've already got some endpoints set up here where a customer can leverage a current endpoint, or they can go over to our deploy page and set up a new endpoint. Here for this demo, I've already set one up as far as the webinar demo. And really what a customer can do now, normally this is kind of where an MLE or a developer steps in, goes in and takes that model, and they're now going to put it into their you know, MLOps pipeline. So here they get the access to their endpoint ID, uh, their API key. They can copy that and put that up and be off and running. One additional thing, though, that I wanted to call out, which I think is really powerful for our manufacturers, industrial automation customers, is we have what we call landing edge. And this allows us to take that model that's been uh, built up in the cloud in Snowflake, but some customers, manufacturers, might have an air-gapped environment. So now they can take that model and actually deploy it down to our landing edge. And what that will do is do inference at the edge. Sometimes you might have to be doing 30 inferences a second. But it also can acquire the images directly from the cameras on the edge, as well as connect to your PLC, which might be able to detect good or no good items of you know, whatever you might be manufacturing on your line. So I think that's a really, really powerful dynamic that blends the cloud and the edge for certain customers that might need that like I said, more common in the manufacturing arena. So now that you saw the object detection, this is probably what I'm most excited about coming around the corner. And this is visual prompting. Um, really what I've got here is more of a life sciences use case. So we've got a bunch of cells in a Petri dish or cell formation units. And you can see what I've done here really quick is label one cell with the purple there. And I said, hey, everything else is background just for simplicity and the sake. And I hit go. And what we're doing behind the scenes is, again, spinning up that GPU that you, you uh, just saw in the prior engagement. And with that one little bit of labeling, we do the labeling, the training, and then we've done the inference on this individual image here. But also we've done inference as well as predictions on other images. And you can see with that little bit of like almost like zero shot uh, labeling here, zero shot training, we were able to get incredibly accurate results. And to me, this is making computer vision even easier. And really, our, our main goal here is to democratize the creation and building of AI, specifically around computer vision. And I think this platform, Landing Lens, is at the forefront of doing that. And new technologies like visual prompting are even pushing it further on the edge. I really like that. And I like how you said you're democratizing this, particularly within the enterprise context, right, where there's so much private information, yep. such as images. How is that a factor that weighs in and how you're thinking about your go-to-market and why you have uh, continue uh, to partner with Snowflake? We just made a huge partnership announcement this yep. week, and we'd love to see kind of how you're thinking about where we're uh, going to continue working together in this space. That's a great question. And, and really, I think this partnership was driven by a lot of our joint customers telling us, hey, listen, we've got this great relationship with Snowflake. We trust Snowflake. We've set up you know, our, our most critical asset be beyond our people, which is our data. Uh, it's protected. We've got governance. We've got role ba uh, you know, RBAC, role-based access controls, et cetera, all set up. We don't want to redo that again with another application. Is there any way, though, you can bring your world and this unstructured data into Snowflake? And that's where, you know, as we started our discussions really over a year ago, we started coming up with, oh, yeah, look, we can take advantage of Snowpark Container Services, the native app framework, and the CPU, GPU capabilities. And so by putting that all together, now all of a sudden our customers can get the best of Snowflake and all the security, keeping the CPU, GPUs, the, the data, everything in that environment, and get the best uh, of us from the computer vision point of view. And so I really think this is a kind of a, a marriage made in heaven as far as customers across really all the different verticals. I've talked a lot about manufacturing today, but manufacturing, oil and gas, consumer electronics, retail, finance, we have you know, incredible use cases where customers are doing things that we never even imagined around computer vision. So we're excited to, to continue doing that here with Snowflake. That sounds really exciting. Are there any other uh, trends or things that excite you about where this partnership could go in the future? Definitely. Well, I, I think, you know, foundationally, one of the things we built the Landing Lens platform for originally was to help customers that have small sets of data. And how do you work with, you know, 
a manufacturer that has a small set of data as far as maybe defective images and create an incredibly high-performing model. Um, that was kind of step one. What we now have more and more customers saying is now we've got you know, millions or billions of images and how do we tackle really kind of the, the big data challenge around uh, computer vision and AI and can we take advantage of generative AI in helping in this world? And so the big thing that we're starting to see in the market is what we've launched recently called domain specific large vision models or LVMs more broadly and even some work we're starting to do with LMMs in that arena. So really what this is all about is companies have a huge set of proprietary data that they often want to do a lot of different downstream tasks and applications built specifically to solve uh, different problems. So we've been working with you know companies in oil and gas, uh, companies in consumer electronics. Uh, we've even been working with companies that are trying to do incredibly new and innovative things like uh, can they help predict investment art and the value of art and democratize that as opposed to the way it's been done in the past. But there are obviously millions of pieces of art. There are you know companies that have billions of pieces of uh, you know, PCB, semiconductors, uh, LCD displays, pipeline, deep sea pipeline inspection. And so they've got these images and they really haven't been able to get the intelligence out of it. So just like the world with LLMs or large language models uh, kind of advance that text revolution, we're now doing the same thing with large vision models and domain specific large vision models to advance that vision revolution. And what I'm really excited about that again with Snowflake is taking that work that we've done and combining that with Cortex and taking advantage of the kind of generative AI capabilities and platform there to kind of, again, bring our joint solution together to make it even more powerful for our end customers. Yeah, no, I think everyone's super excited about what's been happening with LLMs, and you guys are leading the, in the forefront of everything on the visual side, and so we're super excited about that. So for others to get excited, how can they learn more about landing AI? Yeah, well, I think easy enough, you can head out to landing.ai. Uh, we've got a free trial out there. You can get tons of great information, but feel free to jump on the product. We tried to make it uh, very easy and frictionless to use. And then, of course, at the Snowflake Summit this year uh, in June, we're actually launching the native application. So you'll also be able to go into, if you're a Snowflake uh, user or customer, go right in the Snowflake uh, marketplace, download Landing Lens, and get going with uh, your Landing AI journey. Thanks for joining Dan, and of course, thank you everyone that joined us today on this AI Builder episode. If you want to hear from more builders building really cool and sophisticated apps in the data cloud, make sure to subscribe and join us for the next episode.